Howdy campers and welcome back to another episode of Collection Log Completionist, the series where I spend months building up items just to have one day of full dopamine. This week we're going to be, like I said, opening up a bunch of keys and caskets that I've got stacked up from the last several months, so I hope you guys enjoy. 118 fire making. All right, that is KC number 2000 at Winter Todd. So we've got 75 more crates to open up. Let's see here if we can get any luck. Just missing Pet, of course. There we go, 2000 Winter Todd KC, still no pet. Let's move on to opening up some of our caskets, I suppose. Actually, first we're going to be collecting our miscellaneous resources. So let's see here what we've got. Wow, that is incredibly depressing for the number of eggs that we got, but I uh, suppose we'll have to take it. I was just looking at it and I've got 10 workers on hardwoods and only five on regular. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the other way around like this. Even still though, that uh, was pretty unlucky to only get four or eight. I don't know how many eggs that was, but it was not very many for it being there for like two months plus. All right, it's a lot fewer eggs than I was hoping for, but Let's see here if we can get lucky. As to be expected, nothing interesting there, but we are closing in on getting somewhat close to rate for our first piece since I've got about a hundred offered before the counter started and I'm pretty sure it's a one in 400 for any piece. All right, 123 beginner caskets to open here, and uh, these have pretty much all just been gotten through clues that I get while chopping redwoods and birdhouses. So I always say to people that I don't think it's worth doing young implings because, uh, yeah, you still just get plenty of them just passively. So we got two scimitar sets there. I'm just going to kind of spam through these because they're mostly boring. Oh, uh, yet another samurai. Uh, oh, wait. I think it's a different scimitar kit. And it doesn't really bother me if we don't get the item that we need because... Ooh, that was a Jester Cape too. Uh, because we're still going to need to hit 600 for the beginner clue emote. I mean, we don't have to go to 600, but... I'm going to. Ooh, Monkrobe's tea. There were quite a few uh, special uniques in there at the end. We can sift out all of this other garbage here and see what we got for actual uniques. Not too bad of a haul, actually. Several kits, Monkrobe's tea top, demon feet, shoulder parrot, not too bad. And also that puts us at 494 beginners done. Oh, sandwich lady hat. I didn't even see that there. I guess it's not worth much. I did not, I did not realize that. Next up, we've got 295 easies to round us out at 7,300. And we are just missing that cape of skulls and the monk robe top. I'll go through these ones a little bit slower so we can actually see what we get. Ooh, master. Alrighty-o, back to the easies. Two hundred more easies to get through. Hey, you ham joint. Very nice. I've been actually running a bit of top lately, so I'll keep that ham joint since I'm usually melee at Nilo's. 
No way. No way. Oh my goodness, that feels good. That absolutely feels great. Now we are just missing the monk robes top. I cannot believe we actually got a new log slot here. Also, that puts us at 1025 total collections logged, so we get a new role in the collection log discord. I appreciate all the guys in the clan chat going nuts over the Cape of Skulls drop there. Very much appreciated. All right, 150 left to go, but I've gotten more than all I wanted from this easy opening. Man, I can't believe dig site teleports are still worth so much after the Ring of the Elements was released. Alright, just a couple more easies to go. Well, there we have it, 7,300 easy clues completed, and we are just missing the monk robes tops now, so I am very happy with getting that cape of skulls there. We've only got a couple hards here, but let's see if we can yoink something new, and we can, Zamorak Coif, nice. I guess we should take a look at the clue log, just for everyone who wants to take a look at what we've got. We've only done about 350 clues so far, so there's still... Plenty more stuff to get here. Damn, a lot of uniques, but none of those were new there, unfortunately. And now we've got 22 elites to open up. Most of these are just from doing raids, pretty much, I think. Though we did burn a couple more shades that we had sitting around in the bank. And first one's a mimic, nice. All right, that was Mimic Kill number 20. Wines of Zamorak from that. Hey, you master, nice. All right, 14 more. Hey, nice. All right, eight more elites left. <laughs> no way. Man, my Gilded Luck is so stupidly good. Holy heck, man. That's fucking nuts. That is, I think, my fourth Gilded piece? I know we also had a failed Gilded roll back in the day as well. Yep. We've gotten four Gilded pieces, plus we also got a Cabbage roll a while back too. That is absolutely nuts. Also a Mimic, too. Alright, Mimic chest number 21. And two more Elites. Not too bad, I'll take it. And then we've got seven Masters to open up. Let's see if we can get a new Unique. There we go, Black Demon Mask, very nice. I will certainly take one new unique from Masters there. That is quite nice. We never checked the Master Log, but here it is. Not too bad. Next up we've got like 74 Enhanced Crystal uh, keys to open, so definitely not expecting any uniques, but Still would like one, I suppose. Shield left half. I feel like that's probably rare from here, but I don't actually know if it is. Oh, another shield left half, so... Let's assume that's not super rare then. Okay, yeah, shield left half is actually pretty common here. 
only a 1 in 256. All right, well, that was pretty expected. It is quite rare to get the Dragonstone armor from there, and I already got super lucky with getting one of them, so I'm not going to complain. Next up, we'll be opening up the Laren's chest, which I think we've got like 260 openings so far, and we are just missing one piece of the robes. I can't remember which, though. So we take a peek in miscellaneous, I believe... I guess, is it technically under Slayer? There we go. We're just missing the rope bottoms from the Laren's keys. No duplicate so far. So in 100 keys, we're almost at rate to see one of the robes, but there's a decent chance it will be a dupe. Pure Essence is definitely not what we need in order to make our money back here. We did spend 40 mil on these keys because they were 400k each. And I guarantee you, you we will not be making that money back. No fucking way. No way. Alright, I, uh, I guess I'm going to be selling off those other Dagenhide then. That is nuts. Under rate for three robe pieces and zero dupes. That is absolutely nuts. Man, we are getting some log slots. Since we finished opening Laren's keys, we finished the log there. I sold off the rest of the keys to some of the guys in my clan, so that was very fortunate. And uh, let's open up some mossy and giant keys, I suppose. We've already got the Hill Giants Club but we do not have the Bryophyta's Essence. Uh, the reason why I am still going to be opening these, though, is because I still need to do the combat diaries there. So let's do that. I swear, I've spent more time trying to figure out how to get to Obar than it'll take me to actually kill him. Because, for some godforsaken reason, I didn't put my brass key on my key ring. So now it's just, I, I just don't have one. Yeah, there it is. I know I had one when I killed Obar before, but I guess I just dropped it instead of putting it on the key ring. All right, I think this is the correct move for a couple of these that I'm trying to do, because there's one for immobilizing him, one for not getting pushed back, and one for not taking damage off prayer, but I guess I'm still taking damage, so that's pretty cool. Are you, is he not going to be frozen when he... Back to the wall. I think that's for not getting pushed back, probably. So apparently when you're killing Obar from a distance, you're supposed to be praying protect range. So that's interesting. And this time we'll just catch freezes, I guess. Squashing the giant. I don't think that was the one I was thinking of. <laughs> no fucking way, right before he died. Oh, I got it. Okay. <laughs> I did not think I was going to get it there because I was just sprinting around like a madman and not being able to catch freezes. But there we go. Now we just need to kill him in free to play. Wow. Hops to a free to play world for hill giants and it is packed down here. I suppose I really shouldn't be surprised, especially since I'm on world 301, but just didn't even think about it. There we go. Killing him on free to play, and that is Obar completed. All right, this should give us a bunch of combat diaries when we do this. Quickly. There we go. And then also, actually, did I not inflict poison there? I don't think I did. Come on, take damage. There we go. Killed her with Venom damage, so that's another one. And there we go. I got protection. I got the one for protecting from Mage during the kill. I don't know why I didn't get it last time, but that's another one down. And I believe the only one we've got left then is just for killing her on a free-to-play world. All right, on this next one, let's gear up to kill her on a free-to-play world so we can get that one done as well. Damn, Bry's a super easy pushover boss in free-to-play, too, even. I just realized I didn't actually swap to the free-to-play world. 
And that is all of the Briophyta tasks completed. It should be. Let's check quick. There we go. Yep. And I thought we were done with everything, but I suppose we will open up our four mystery boxes that we've got lying around as well. Never lucky, what can I say, man? All right, that's it. Bye. I uh, kid, I wouldn't just leave you guys off like that. Uh, the real reason, actually, why I wanted to do a real outro was because... As I'm sure pretty much all of you guys know, Raids 3 comes out tomorrow, and I took off the rest of the week to do Raids 3. And if you are going to be doing Raids 3 and you'd like to raid with me and are in Eternal Gems or in the Collection Log Discord, hit me up because a lot of the people I usually raid with didn't get time off. So if you'd like to raid with me, just at me on Discord. And until next time, which will be very soon, happy camping.